A foggy mist arises early on this Sunday morn as I gaze upon Three Island Crossing where a legend from the past was born. I can almost see the wagons as they enter the mighty snake and I almost hear the echo of their voices and the cries they make. They traveled far and suffered much till the wagons rolled like a flowing tide. They had dreams of a far better place in this new land, spacious and wide. Thousands came, a mighty exodus of pioneers, of children and all. I marvel at their courage as they answered destiny's call. They faced the long and endless miles through a desolate empty land, still pressing ever westward through dust and heat and burning sand. Seeming invincible, so courageous and so brave, as loved ones were laid to rest in shallow, lonely graves. In the windswept <clears throat> wind land, the graves soon fade, to then be known only by God. Heartbroken, but no time to tarry, for again the wagon train moves on. Still they hold of their elusive dream of the lush green fields of Oregon. They conquered the majestic Rockies, but what a price to pay. Lost wagons, lost lives, and a whole lot less hope as they continued along the way. There's a monument now erected, a park and a museum to show, where the pioneers crossed the Snake River at Three Island Crossing right here in Idaho. Traces of the trail still remain to this very day, Outward silence now reigns year after year, and today we tend to think of it as a trail of adventure, but wasn't it really a trail of tears? The old Oregon Trail of that long ago day. The wagons are now still, to the past they now belong, yet sometimes, yes sometimes, upon the whisper of the wind comes a faint echo, wagons roll on. <laughs> 